a little bit later on in the show. In the meanwhile, I want to t- uh, talk a little bit about the Job Creators Network. We've got on the line Elaine Parker. She is the communications officer for Job Creators Network. She uh, leads the strategic media objectives for the overall organization. And this, is, of course, is the great organization that is putting together the free event that we've been talking about on August the 29th. That's exactly one week from today at the Hyatt Regency Denver Tech Center at 8 a.m. It's totally free. A lot of great folks are going to be there, and it's all about Defending Main Street. In fact, you can actually check them out at DefendMainStreet.com to know more about them, their events, their efforts at educating the public as well as politicians about the unique needs of small businesses. So, Elaine, welcome to, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Krista, for having me today. Uh, we're really excited about this event on the 29th. We're going to have special guests, uh, Mike Kaufman, Representative Mike Kaufman, and uh, Heidi Ganal, Ganal, who is the founder of Camp Bow Wow, as well as our CEO uh, and President Alfredo Ortiz. And what we'd like to see is a room full of small business owners um, looking for solutions to some of these issues that are hurting their small businesses. Well, I think that that sounds like a fantastic idea. I don't know of anyone other than this organization that is defending small business. Of course, I love Heidi Ganahl. She's fantastic. And um, Camp Bow Wow is a great business. And she is a very inspiring individual. Uh, you know, I got to ask you, with your experience in uh, business for the last, uh, I know you've been doing this a long time, um, how is government making it harder for America's entrepreneurs and business owners? Well, we launched the Spring Small Businesses Back campaign this year, and when we did, we conducted a poll of small business owners across the country. And what they said with the top three issues hurting their businesses was overtaxation, overregulation, and a lack of access to capital. And, in fact, it's interesting because only one in five in our survey uh, small business owners actually said they plan to hire any additional employees this year. That's really scary when you think about it. And, in fact, you know, the government just keeps on chugging out these regulations that are hurting small businesses. You know, you look at issues like the overtime regulation. They've now doubled the salary threshold under which salaried employees have to receive overtime pay, forcing employers to basically have to change their salaried employees and reclassify them to hourly so they can monitor um, their hours better. And it's hurting people who are trying to climb the, the career ladder. That directly hurts employees. Hurts employees. He's got issues. Oh, go on. It hurts employees who are trying to climb the career ladder. You know, it's a big advancement to go from an hourly position into a management position where you're earning salary. It affords you generally more benefits, more flexibility. You know how many parents make it to that salary level and they can go leave the, their, their jobs a little bit early to go see their, their children in that little league baseball game, um, you know, and they don't have to worry about making up the time because they're putting in the time elsewhere, you know, and and that kind of flexibility is what comes with um, a salary position. And now employers are are being forced to look at having to, um, you know, reclassify employees because they can't offer the flexibility if they've got to um, monitor every hour over 40 that, um, you know, their managers are working. And, in fact, these are people who, you know, generally people who want to work till the job gets done. Well, and I imagine that when employees first heard of this, they thought, hey, this is a great idea. What they didn't realize, though, was going to affect comp time. It was going to, it's going to affect whether people can work from home. It's going to affect a lot of the way people actually do their jobs and not affect it for the positive. Why should small business owners actually talk to employees about these policies rather than just assume that employees already know what it's going to do? Well, it, it's really important because studies show that employers really do, employees really do trust their employers. They are the best messenger for this type of message in talking to their employees honestly about how these policies impact their business and ultimately their jobs. And what we do at the Job Creators Network is we actually create educational tools that employers can use to talk to their employees and give to their employees. Um, to help explain some of these complex issues, whether it's about the health care or taxes or debt and deficit, um, just energy, how, how those types of policies impact their businesses that they're working in and ultimately their families and their paychecks. It's not about telling employees how to vote, but it is about creating a more educated electorate. 
Well, there's a lot of misinformation out there. I know with this, uh, there's a uh, ballot measure to increase the minimum wage. Again, on the surface, it sounds fantastic. But, you know, instead of just assuming that people will know the side effects, business owners need to actually talk to their employees and say, listen, if this goes up, it also it's going to mean that I'm going to be able to offer fewer hours. I'm not going to be able to hire additional people. And I may even have to look at, you know, getting rid of a, a position uh, if they don't hear these things from their employers, they're not going to know that there are serious drawbacks and side effects from what appears to be well-meaning legislation. You know, your biz, small, Bring Small Business Back campaign, it focuses on the three areas, taxes, regulation, and capital. You've talked a little bit about regulation. Why is capital such a, a big deal? Well, you know, the, it's an interesting question. Um, in our survey, three out of five of the small businesses that we talked to said it's difficult for them to get loans um, of less, uh, and, and uh, to get loans in general, and loans of less than a million have dropped su- significantly since the recession. We really need to remove the barriers to capital for small business people because these are folks, you know, who are, you know, willing to put, uh, you know, payroll on their credit card. You know, they're looking to make payroll every week. They're looking to expand their business. And the only way they can do that is to get these loans um, and, and help expand their business. And by doing that, they can expand jobs, you know. And, you know, the more that they can, they can you know, keep, whether it's through lower taxes or getting um, access to credit, um, you know, the studies show that they do take that money and put it back into their business. They're not out there buying yachts and floating around in the ocean. They're reinvesting in their business. Well, and capital costs are, are, are pretty, you know, pretty substantial when you're looking at machinery and, and different things for your business. And so if we were if they were able to drop the corporate tax rate, we would see businesses being able to invest in the things that not only help business, but I'll actually allow businesses to grow, serve more customers, and ultimately hire more people. One last question for you. Why should people come to this Bring Small Business Back event in Denver, and do you have other events planned? We do. Um, first, we want um, we think small business owners should come to this event. It is a free event. They can go to defendmainstreet.com and RSVP. Um, they'll be meeting with, obviously, their uh, congressman, uh, Mike Kaufman, um, and talking to other business, small business owners um, in a small business panel about these issues, and we've got solutions to talk to them about. We've brought forward legislation um, on the tax issue so far. Um, we're working on the regulation and the capital issue, but right now the tax issue is called the Bring Small Businesses Back Tax Reform Act. reduces taxes on the first 150000 of income for what they call pass-through businesses to 10% and up to a $1 million dollars. 20%. And it also simplifies some other issues um, in taxes, but those are the two biggies. And those are huge, huge steps forward for small business that would really unleash the power of small business. Well, I love that you've got these ideas on the table and that you're doing, you're, you're really getting education out there, not only to to sort of ordinary people, but also hoping that it kind of moves up from the grassroots up to the, the politicians so that they actually understand the needs of small business. So the event is Hyatt Regency, at the Hyatt Regency Denver Tech Center, 8 a.m., August the 29th, completely free. Heidi Ganahl, Congressman Mike Kaufman, and the founder of this organization, Alfredo Ortiz, will be there. You'll be there. We're, we're talking with Elaine Parker. She is the Chief Communications Officer. And if folks want to know more about this event and other events, uh, what uh, what's the website again? They can RSVP at DefendMainStreet.com, and they can check out Job Creators Network at JobCreatorsNetwork.com. Oh, I think that sounds super. Thanks so much for carving out some time today to talk about it. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. Thanks, Elaine.